Many people don't realize how easy it is to get your image onto a pet ID tag. Whether you're looking for a fun hobby or starting a business, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson desktop dye sublimation technology. In order to get your image onto pet ID tags, here's what you need. An Epson F170 dye sublimation printer loaded with multi-use transfer paper, some blank pet ID tags, a heat pad, a pair of scissors, heat transfer tape, a small heat press like this one, and a pair of heat gloves. Once you have the finished design for your pet ID tags, this is how to send them to the F170 printer. For Windows users, click the print button. Choose properties. Choose your paper type. For a pet ID tag, choose rigid. Click OK. Then click Print to send the file to the printer. For Mac users, click the Print button. Choose Printer. Choose Print Settings. Choose your media type. For a pet ID tag, choose Rigid. Click Print and click Print again to send the file to the printer. And now let's cut out each individual pet ID tag. So now we're ready to tape our pet ID tag in place. Just take your tag, line it up, and we're gonna tape it in place with a couple of pieces of heat transfer tape. And now we're ready to transfer it. Before we press our pet ID tags, you may wanna protect your table surface. To do so, grab a piece of scrap wood or a piece of cardboard and then put a sheet of craft paper on top of that. Now you're ready to place your item. Grab your heat press, set it down, and begin your timer. We are pressing at 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and when the timer is done, it will alert us. Be sure to lift the heat press up slowly. Be sure to put on a heat glove, as the item will be hot. Once you've done that, Peel the paper away, apply the hook, and you're done.